Hello, everyone. Uh, this video is going to present you uh, the evaluation of the Soyan system of AMR in Vietnam using this EcoSure tool. My name is Marion Bordier. I am epidemiologist at CIRAD. My main field of expertise is the organization of Soyan system as well as evaluation under the one health concept. And in the framework of the CoEval AMR project, I was more specifically in charge of assessing uh, the EcoSure tool, applying it to the evaluation of the science of AMR in Vietnam. So this case study presentation is related to the section five of the guidance website that you can visit following the link mentioned on this slide. So as an introduction, I would like to briefly uh, describe the Soyan system for IMR in Vietnam. So in Vietnam, the authorities uh, have developed an interministerial strategy to combat IMR, including the implementation of an intersectoral surveillance system. So at the time of the evaluation in 2019, this surveillance system was still under development. Uh, so under the Ministry of Health, uh, there were some science activities ongoing in uh, retail food and in hospitals, and some discussion uh, were uh, ongoing about the implementation of science in community. And under the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, uh, there, there was some sampling in uh, food producing animals, but no real uh, structure surveillance uh, network. So the tool we use for this case study is ECOSUR, which uh, stands for Evaluation of Collaboration for Surveillance. So this is a semi-quantitative tool that will evaluate the organization and functioning of collaboration in a multi-component surveillance system. So it helps to identify the strengths and weaknesses of the system, and then to formulate some recommendations to improve collaboration for surveillance. So this tool is uh, generic and can be applicable to any multi-component surveillance system, whatever the hazard of the event under evaluation, as well as the level of integration achieved. So uh, these tools uh, consist of uh, 22 attributes for the evaluation of organization of collaboration, both at the governance and the implementation level, as well of uh, three quality indexes that will measure the quality of the collaboration organization at a macro level in terms of management, support, and operation. And finally, of nine attributes that are considered uh, to represent a key function for a collaboration to be functional and sustainable. So all the results for these attributes and indexes are displayed in graphical representation that you can see on this slide. So you will obtain one pie chart for each organizational attribute, one uh, histogram, uh, including the result for the three indexes, and finally, one spider chart for uh, the nine function attribute uh, results. So um, we are not going into uh, the detail of the evaluation result for the Sphere system because it's not uh, the aim of the study, but I would like to share with you some uh, key findings. Um, so we found out uh, that um, there was a strong formalization uh, of the willingness to collaborate for surveillance, uh, which is mainly under the influence of uh, international partners. But uh, the collaborative objective, as it is set right now, uh, targeting uh, directed only to uh, public health safety, was not in adequation with all the stakeholder expectation, especially those uh, from uh, the animal health sector. Uh, the, the evaluation also underlined that um, the, the collaborative uh, mechanism for the governance of the multi-sectoral system 
uh, were not functional. There was a national steering committee, but it was not meeting. Uh, there was no specific collaborative mechanism for coordinating uh, the screen system. And finally, uh, the scientific and technical support for collaboration was not structured. So this, the consequences of this lack of functional uh, governance mechanisms uh, led to uh, insufficient allocation of resources, the fact that there was no training for Australian actors involved in collaboration, as well as no performance monitoring and evaluation system. And finally, there was low operationalization of collaboration for Surian's activity. Only few uh, punctual collaborative activities uh, were existing, and they were mainly relying on interpersonal relationships. So now, regarding um, our evaluation of the tool itself, we found that the tool was easy to use, uh, it comes with documents to uh, help users to collect all the relevant data they need for the evaluation, with an evaluation matrix to score all the criteria that will contribute to um, the attribute evaluation, and also a guidance to help the, the users. So the tool is, um, is free access and standalone, uh, but it needs some training before its application. Uh, in, indeed, it needs a good understanding of uh, the conceptual uh, framework uh, which is behind the development of the tool and also it needs to masterize uh, very well all the vocabulary. Uh, the fact that the evaluation results are displayed in graphical representation is uh, the interpretation of the results. Another interesting point is that uh, this tool is intending to uh, be applied in a participatory way with all the relevant stakeholders, and it can serve as a concertation tool to improve their mutual understanding and also to support the definition of collective solution to improve collaboration. So one point important to have in mind is that this tool uh, evaluates the quality of collaboration but will not evaluate uh, the surveillance performance per se. Uh, and additionally, the tool uh, do, does not evaluate impact and cost of collaboration. So what are the take-home messages um, following this case study? So Ecosur is uh, the only tool uh, that will uh, allow an in-depth analysis of collaboration across actors operating in different surveillance components, both for the governance and the implementation of surveillance activities. It's a generic tool applicable to any integrated surveillance system. So it's not specific to AMR, but it's uh, very appropriate to evaluate integrated surveillance for AMR. And an important point to keep in mind is that this tool does not consider that full integration is the gold standard. But rather, it will evaluate the, if the integration level, which is desired by stakeholders, is appropriate regarding the context and the objective, and if then the collaboration in place for governance and implementation of science activities is functioning well to achieve this integration level. So this is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching it. Please feel free uh, to visit the website for more details about these case studies and other ones.